Welcome back to Practicing Hydroponics. Boy, isn't that a beautiful cucumber flower? We've got uh, quite a few on this plant. It is just growing like crazy. We have to uh, tie it up now, and we're afraid that it's going to take over the entire room. We've got our Roma tomatoes uh, in our ebb and flow, which is an ebb and grow system, uh, growing out pretty well. The peppers are producing nicely. We finally added uh, some more plants off the rail, the Aeroflow system today. We added a mint plant over here on our left. We've transferred our fennel. We've got some leeks transferred over and a new tomato plant here in the bottom. We uh, took out our cherry tomatoes, the uh, two big plants that were here in these two uh, pots in the power grower, and really cleaned the system up good today did a water transfer as well. We took out the big parsley plant that was in the back since we have two more big parsley plants growing in the ebb and grow system. We also uh, reduced the size of our basil forest uh, that continues to grow and flourish quite well. The uh, Roma tomato plant, I still haven't figured these out guys, but they are still producing Roma tomatoes for us so we just keep on letting it go. The uh, pepper plant here in the back has got so many peppers on it we had to finally put some posts up to uh, to hold the uh, the plant up. The uh, plant was starting to topple over from the number of peppers that are growing underneath all that foliage. You probably can't see them too well in there but trust me they're there and as we start to pick them we'll show them all to you. The uh, rail system uh, we cleaned out a couple of big heads of lettuce we had some guests and also ate a bunch of it ourselves. You see the beautiful red chard that's growing in the back. That is tremendous in a salad. Throw some basil and mint leaves in your salad too. You'd be surprised at how, how good it tastes. Got another mint plant here in the front that needs to probably get out soon. We put uh, in here in the front uh, three of our or four uh, zucchini plants. As you notice, we have uh, uh, two pots left in our Edmund Grow system, and uh, one, two, three, about five pots that are empty in our power grower. We've got uh, these zucchini plants and a couple of jalapeno pepper plants uh, down here in front that uh, we plan on putting in to those as soon as they get big enough to, to be transferred. Our clones are concerning us. We had huge root masses on these plants when we transferred them over here to the uh, Aeroflow system. They do, however, uh, look kind of sick on top. The leaves look kind of dried out, but the root mass underneath is still white. It still looks good. The root mass has uh, exited the net cup and uh, is doing quite well in, in the rail. So we're gonna, just going to keep on watching those. Down here you'll see a, a plant that we had some concerns about. It's actually a thyme plant. That is an herb for those who are unfamiliar with it, but uh, it has taken off quite well. But uh, that's what it looks like, and we look forward to getting some time off of that as it continues on. A couple of the lettuce plants here in the back. Uh, more lettuce that we put into the rail uh, as well. As I said, we go through that quite a bit, and uh, we have some more uh, rockwool cubes that, that we've added into the solution, and we'll get some more lettuce planted for that. But the next big grow was these uh, these zucchini and jalapeno peppers, so we're looking forward to seeing how those do for us. Look forward to seeing you next time on Practicing Hydroponics. Thanks for visiting.